when God made the earth, he created the earth and then made pe- uh, made a person. He made Adam, right? So first of all, the place that he he created was hospitable, was the right ingredients to make a home for Adam. That the place, once you leave the place that you were created from. So once you, if you don't understand how you were created, how you were designed to function, then it's going to be very easy for you to try all of these environments and try to see like, do I fit here? Do I fit here? Do I fit here? And we toil unnecessarily. We don't need to toil that way. We don't need to um, work in that way. Most of society does. Most of society does. It's like, is this work? Does this work? We just do it by trial and error instead of actually going to the blueprint. Maybe before the narcissist, you had big goals. You had ideal dreams. You wanted your life to look like this and this and this. And now maybe you've been in court for a really long time or you're you feel like you're too old, you know, you're, you're now figuring out they're a narcissist, you're divorcing them and you're fe- feeling like you're too old to have any of those other accomplishments uh, made, or you feel like you've wasted the best part of your life. I hear that a lot. I've wasted the best part of my life with a narcissist. If you are believing these um, statements, I, I really want to take time for you to address them with me right now. Pull them up one by one in your mind. Okay. Let's say, um, I'm too old for those dreams. I want you, that's a poverty mindset. That is a poverty statement. I'm too old. I could never have that. I've wasted, right? All of those types of thinkings are poverty. Poverty isn't just about money or about wealth. It's about your life. If you don't value your life, if you are speaking death over your life, your being, you, you will never have a rich life. You will never have an abundant life. You will never have a completed book at the end of your life. So for a lot of people, it can be too harsh to say, okay, um, you know, I didn't waste any, any time with the narcissist and, you know, all things are redeemable and I can redeem that time. Okay. If you cannot make the shift from one to the other. So like, let's say, um, I'm too old. Um, and let's say the statement in the, in the uh, prosperity or abundance mindset is, you know, I, I live outside of time. Time has no effect on me. I'm exactly the right age that I should be at in order for my life to be completed. If that statement is too much of a jump for you to say, try saying it's a possibility before the statement. So it's a, if you can't, if you cannot, if you feel yourself rejecting the statement of um, you're exactly the right age, if you feel like, mm, I don't know if I am, like, I think, you know, 35 would have been a better age or 30 or 45 would have been, if you find yourself trying to say that, then I want you to say instead, it's a possibility. Leave yourself open. Don't close your heart. Don't close your mind off to the idea, to the possibility that this is something that you could experience. It's an option. Let's just make a table of options, right? And one one option is that, yeah, it's you're too old, right? If you want to eat that fruit, that's an option for you. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Those who love it will eat its fruit. Which one of these things do you love? And even if you're like, well, I want to love abundance. I want to love life. I want to love the prosperity aspect, but I, I find myself very attached to the death part, the poverty part. I want you to start saying instead, it's a possibility. This is this is something that I'm willing to put on the table, right? Maybe I'll eat it. Maybe I won't. I don't, I'm not making that decision. I'm just saying I'll allow it on the table. So I have many options of what fruit I want to eat from, Okay. I want you to think through some of these things. Here's another one. I'll never find love again. Or I'm un- I-, I-, I will never date again. I will never marry again. I will never have kids with somebody again. You're speaking death uh, through poverty, uh, lack, lack of family, lack of connection, lack of belonging, lack of partnership. And by the way, not everybody needs to be married. Not everybody needs to have a family. It, 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 it's up to you. 
But if you're doing it from a place of woundedness, like this experience was so terrible with the narcissist, I never want to go through it again. So therefore, I'm just never dating again. I'm never getting married again. I'm never trusting somebody again. If you're coming from that place, you need to understand that that is not that is not authentic. Okay. And that will bleed into other areas of your life. That wall that you are putting up because you are too afraid to establish a boundary instead that has a door that shows people, hey, if you want to get in, you come in through the door. That is not the answer. 